Welcome back! In the previous video we saw how to install the incredible coordinator and agent on your local machine. In this video we will learn how to start a build using Incredible with Visual Studio and install an additional agent on a remote machine. Now let's open Visual Studio 2010 and see the Incredible integration. The Incredible menu is located between the team and the data menus. It can be used instead of Visual Studio's built-in build menu to run accelerated builds. So, let's load the sample solution and rebuild it using Incredible. From the Incredible menu, click Rebuild. Using Incredible's graphic build monitor, it is easy to see the compilation task during the build process. Since my machine has four cores, we can see that this solution is using all four cores in the build process. I want to show you the actual build time of this small solution in order to show you the build progress and the task representation in the graphical build monitor which is unique to Incredibuild. The graphical build monitor is an easy way to inspect your build order and receive valuable information regarding your build task in real time. For example, by hovering with the mouse cursor over the various tasks, we can see the task duration time and the task type. The virtual yellow bar appears, which means that the build is now complete. So far, we have seen how to rebuild the solution using Incredibuild on the local machine. Now, let's add another agent. I have prepared a virtual machine with the setup file, so we will perform the same installation process just without the coordinator, which we have already installed. In the component selection dialog, we will choose only the Incredibuild agent and press Next. We will press Next also in our next dialog, that indicates the installation path. As mentioned before, each agent has to be connected to the coordinator. In this dialog I'm specifying my coordinator machine, so this agent will be able to join to the build pool. Press test and we are good to go. Agent network setting just as before. Same goes for the CPU configuration. Pressing next and next one more time and we are done. As we can see, the incredible icon is present and we are good to go. In order to see how the new agent is being used in our build pool, we will now go back to the original machine and build the same solution with Incredible. We see that now we have two more cores that were added to the build because of that new agent. Opening the coordinator monitor at this point, and we will see that Yoni PC machine, which is the initiator machine, is building, and the VM minus no IB minus one is participating as helper, and this is indicated by the working for status. Going back to the build, and we will see that it is almost finished now. Once it will be finished, we will see that the total build time was faster than before due to those additional two cores. With Incredible on four cores, a build took 50 seconds, and with six cores, a build took only 35 seconds. In this video, we have seen how to rebuild a project using Incredible, and how to install additional agents to run on additional cores. So, get started using Incredible. You can download Incredible at www.incredible.com. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate contacting me.